So if you are watching this video, that means that you've gotten a message from uh, Dr. Santiago Luis entitled Checking the TPE Key Assignments in Your Courses. So, and one of the things in there, and you can see this is just a demo message that she sent to me for the purposes of this video. Your message will have some instructions in here, um, but it will also have this graded TPE assignment. Um, file, this PDF. So when I double click on this PDF, it brings up this particular file. So I'm going to open this graded TPE assignments PDF and I'm going to look through for my course and I'm going to identify both the TPE that I'm responsible for as well as the specific assignment that the student should complete in my course. For example, if I were to use 773 as an example, so if I was teaching 773 this semester, I'd go down through the list and okay, there's one, so, and I'm kind of old school, so I'm actually going to write this on a little notepad. So I'm responsible for TPE4, and the assignment is called the Final Digital Lesson and Rationale. Let's see, and I want to double check because some of these courses will have multiple TPEs and multiple assignments. Many of them only have one. So I'm going to make sure I go right to the bottom, and in this case, 773 only has the one. So now that I've made that note, I'm going to go over to my Canvas course. So if I go to my Fall 2021 version, of the course because that's all we're interested in is the fall 2021 version. I want to go under assignments and I'm going to look to see is there an assignment in here that's attached to TPE4 that's called Final Digital Lesson and Rationale. So as I look down through There is one down here, Credential Portfolio TPE4 Final Lesson and Rationale. So I want to go and click on that one. And I want to make sure that I have some TPE rubric here. So I want to make sure that that's listed there for the assignment. And if it's not, then you want to contact Dr. Santiago, you want to contact Louise and let her know that the assignment is there, but the rubric is not attached. If you don't find the assignment at all, so say this assignment is not listed at all, then you need to contact Dr. Santiago and Louise and let her know that the assignment is not listed at all. If you have the assignment there and it isn't published, and you didn't know if you should or were going to publish it for students, you also want to make sure that you contact uh, Louise to discuss how the assignment is supposed to be used for the student's overall TPE portfolio. Finally, if you have any questions about this process whatsoever, feel free to reach out to Louise and either she or I will assist you.